Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Bandu 2. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 09, and this is a long time no see because it's been a while since we've uh, updated this. Holy guacamole, man. Two months, man. Two plus months, man. Almost three, actually, give, give or take. I haven't looked at the date. Okay, so today's episode of Bandu 2 <laughs> because I've declared it so, is going to be a catch up day. Why is that, you may ask? Because I ain't got no mustard. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bad joke. I know. Boo! Okay. So over here, if you build drill a boulder, you'll get the triple clef. I stupidly forgot to get that. Or not stupidly. I just never got around to it, man. I'm not really... It's not so much that I'm stupid. I'm just kind of lazy. I'm a procrastinator, man. Um, but that's not, of course, to say that that's what happened with this project. You all know what happened with that. I'm not going to go over and over and over again in every single project I start off with. You know, like... Hey guys, blah blah blah, I wasn't able to update this because blah 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 happened, you know, so. Anywho, uh, as I said, we're going to be doing a lot of catching up, a lot of cleaning up of leftovers. So this is going to be the leftover episode because there's a lot of stuff I missed, such as getting these running shoes and running over here to get this honeycomb ring that I, that I actually, really stupidly, thought I had already picked up. But as I said, I think in a, like a text overlay format or something, with very poor quality, I might add, of course. I said something along the lines of, like, I did it, I did the collect the honeycomb ring on my practice run, but I forgot to do that I didn't do it here. So anyway, with that out of the way, we got a trouble cliff, we got a honeycomb ring. Over here, if you talon torpedo! Uh, talon torpedo! Yeah, sometime today would be nice. That switch right there, you'll get another Jinjo. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I am really low on health. Jeez, man. I didn't realize how, like, bad I am at this game. I thought I, well, actually, was I even good to begin with? That is a good question. Questioning the gamer's skill from the get-go. There's just some investigation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell ya. Mm, excuse me. So as you might or might not imagine, I'm still a little under the weather with my nose. I don't know if it's just me being under the weather or if it's just the fact that we keep experiencing these really hot, cold, hot, cold, drastic changes in the weather patterns. At least over here in Florida, it seems that way. But then again, I'm not complaining, you know. I've seen what uh, y'all in the north have to deal with. Y'all gotta, like, frickin' shovel feet, feet or foot after foot of snow just to get out of your driveway. And I'm like, y'all can keep that. I don't want that mess. Hoo-hoo. And I notice I keep bringing up my southern tendencies there. You know, y'all, y'all. Although that's not, like, the main thing that southerners use. It's just kind of a typical thing that we tend to do, if you will. Okay, so we did a little cleanup here and there. Uh, we have quite a bit to do. I actually, I think I already said that. Sorry about that for repeating. Uh, no, I don't want to do that, actually. Hello. We need to go and do another Jiggy, because I feel very empty-handed in an episode. If I leave you all hanging with not a single Jiggy, you know, not a single goo nugget in tow. I just, I don't know, I feel like I rob you guys every time I do that with a video, and I think I've done that with quite a, with at least four or five videos where I didn't do a, collect a single ghoul nugget. So let's try and see if we can't fix that. So we're gonna come here back to the Styrocosaurus family, as you can tell I was here already. I was just kind of getting familiar with the lay of the land and all that good stuff. Because it has been a while since I've uh, played this game for a little bit. Alright, so, if I recollect correctly, the last time we were here, we were supposed to help out three children of Scrotty there, up there, the big mom that's, like, really disgruntled. And we already helped out the smallest one, which was sitting over here, like, mini-sized, or fun-sized. Fun-sized! Yay! So now we're gonna help out this sick, poor little dinosaur here. I think it's Scrut, or maybe that's, maybe that's the one that's missing, I don't know. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to use the pack-whack move. You use that by pushing the Z button and then pressing the left C button. As Banjo only, you need to make sure you lose Kazooie out of your pack, because otherwise this will not work. And then we're going to make our way over to the train station. Oh yeah! To the train station! All aboard! Choo -choo -choo. Okay, sorry, yeah. That's a sign when we're starting to run dry on commentary, so we need to change topics here. So, uh, aside from my absence, how have you all been today? This is a fine, lovely Friday. I was, I'm in such a good mood, man. My teacher today put me in a really peachy mood, actually. 
Uh, her name, I'll, I'll go ahead and say her name because she's more than likely she's not going to see this because it's not like my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page. If it were my, if this was like on my personal Facebook page, that would probably be different, but she's not going to probably see this on YouTube, but if she does, hey, how you doing? Anyway, her, uh, Dr. Becker's her name. She's my legal ethics teacher. Oh yeah, we're going to call the train here, so, uh, yeah. You gotta come. You gotta walk up to the sign, press B, and then you, if you want him to come, you just press A to answer yes. For those who are aren't sure of button controls. Anyway, my legal ethics teacher, as I said, put me in a really peachy mood today because we just pretty much. I love it when classes that are like run for freaking two and a half plus hours are run more along the lines of open discussion, open floor for people to kind of tr contribute to conversation. Because it actually encourages people to, like, think and then, like, respond to other people's, like, remarks or to the class. And it also makes it nice because we're not all sitting there listening to one teacher talk to us all day, so... Definitely, uh, uh, it put me in a good mood. By the way, here is the missing dinosaur. Uh, I hope Mom, like, won't be, like, mad at me, like, total A. Uh, you better hope you don't get grounded, man. Stole money from your mom's purse and ran away. Woohoo. Two counts of strikes against you, man. One more strike, you're out of the park. Well, there's another dinosaur. Yay! Styrocosaurus, I should say. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out a cave for the next month as punishment. I forgot I gotta push A to advance the dialogue. Jeez. Hello, it's been a while since I've definitely been playing this game. I, we, dude, we've already clarified that. Come on, man. Stop making excuses. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I gotta actually get uh, this dinosaur out of my backpack. All right, so what you wanna do for your next bit of information? For your next bit of information, next step, next process, next procedure, please. You're gonna come in here. You're just gonna simply take your backpack off in here. You don't have to do anything. It'll automatically do the cutscene where you pull out the dinosaur magically out of your bag, kind of like what you what would happen if you were to pull, uh, pull, uh, let go of the Deku Princess from Majora's Mask out of the bottle, basically, in front of the Deku King. You just basically, the proportion of the thing that was in a smaller object ends up suddenly growing back to its maximum full size. You know what? You know what? You want to dance? Let's dance, chicken legs. Or am I the one with chicken legs? Oh, okay. Well, block feet? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, I really didn't know what I could do. Oh, jeez. Man, oh man, this commentary sucks today. What's going on with that? We need to, like, spice it up, man. We gotta get some Old Bay or some, uh, what's another one? Montreal steak? Bring out the Louisiana hot sauce. You know, the hot sauce! Or the epic sauce! Some dark chocolate sauce! Yeah, yeah! Okay. Too early for that? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm feeling really giddy, so... If I sound like a complete, total nut job, please forgive me. Also! Please forgive me for this. If the quality of this video looks a little odd, it's probably because I really can't do much about it. We're going to be heading to Isle of Hags, by the way, in case you're following and using this as a guide. Which, uh, my goodness. Bless your soul if you're doing that. Because <laughs> I am definitely not the ideal guide. I, I will definitely get us lost, as you might or might not imagine, because I think I've already done, like, three U-turns with Banjo and Kazooie within this episode already. I don't know, I wasn't keeping count, but I have a feeling that I've done roughly that amount. So anyway, while we're up here, I keep transitioning back and forth to rambling and talking about the game, so I apologize if that gets on your nerves. I'm gonna try and tone that down a bit, stay consistent for a few minutes, then transition over to whatever else I'm gonna have fly out of my mouth. You know, like bad breath or halitosis. <sighs> I love fried oyster skins. That was not a good Patrick impression from Spongebob, but okay. Okay, so, real talk, y'all. We're gonna be traveling up the mountain here, and the, uh, scr I think Scruddy? Scratty? Scruddy? Scritchy? Scr scratchy? I don't know. I forgot. I, I get the freaking Sourcosaurus's mom her name wrong every time. But... The names aside, you know, what is in a name, as William Shakespeare once wrote in his play. Right up here is a globo. You need to make sure you pick that up. It's actually a cross over here. I stupidly forgot to pick it up while we were over here. I don't know why I forgot to do it. 
you know, it's kind of one of those have to pick up items, but I think maybe I put off picking it up to avoid confusion, you know, when I was going into the world, so I didn't accidentally think, oh yeah, I already got the Globo or something, and then I wind up having, I wind up using this Globo in place of another Globo within one of the other worlds, like Jolly Rogers Bay or something. <sighs> I think that's the only world I actually could have used it in. Oops. <laughs> Way to be specific, y'all. Seriously. But yeah, that was, I think that's probably what my reasoning was for not picking it up beforehand. Oh well. You live and learn, you know? Live and learn! That's the best way to deal with life, because if you try to plan everything out, uh, <laughs> you just wind up making a big mess for yourself. At least from what I've seen so far and learned. Okay, so, those who are interested in the gameplay, let me bounce back over that way, you know, because I'm like a freaking hack sack You kick me around enough, I'm just gonna, like, bounce all over the place. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome again, Barry Bird. Hey, Mumbo, how you doing? Oh, we've got another Globo! You must give magic creature to Mumbo if you want my help. Would you like Mumbo's help? Uh, do 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 Yes, don't be doing that, man. You did that joke one other time and somebody, like, they made a face in the comments, actually, I remember. Let's go ahead and press the A button so we can advance the dialogue a little faster here, because this is the same thing we've already read for the past uh, four or five worlds we've been in. We've been in four, technically five, because Isle of Hags is a world itself. Six if you want to count Spiral Mountain, of course. And this, of course, is strictly saying, like, the whole world as a whole, not like individual parts, like Isle of Hags the Plateau, Isle of Hags the Clifftop, Isle of Hags the Wasteland. Or Jinjo Village, you know, that's technically still ILO Hags, believe it or not. It's kind of crazy, but hey. It's a small world after all, you know. Dude, get out of here. Fear my wrath of my super zap stick. <laughs> Oop. And of course, it wouldn't be a video with me if you didn't have that crap. Alright, let's work some magic. Hope this works. Eka Pokemon. Six Styrocosaurus heal. Man. I love that kind of spell, man. Give me some of that action. Mm. Heal and sparkles away. Man, he didn't play around, man. He freaking like engulfed the whole train, pass the passenger train. If that don't cure him, I don't know what will. Her, him, her, I forget. I think it's him. Despite the eyelashes. Oh, that's awesome. He's so happy. So freaking delighted, man. So delighted. I know, I said so happy already, and I kind of like, it would have been better if I just left it at that, but I'm like, I try not to do that, because I feel like, like, even if I were to say, there's my tribute to Nintendo no Capri Sun, if I were to do something like, so happy, if I were to say that, you know, I just feel like I'm just kind of like, ripping off the guy, you know, and he, he's, he's somebody I truly, I think I've mentioned this, like, several times in the past, he's somebody I do admire, along with other people, of course, I just don't mention them enough, and I really should, you know, but, I feel like I'm kind of doing him injustice by quoting things he might say, or even if it's accidental, you know, still, it's like plagiarism, you know, it, it says in the definition, intentional or unintentional use, and as you all know, and as we all know, I'm sure, there's enough copyright crap going around as it were, you know, content ID claiming, and just the whole YouTube policy thing, all that good stuff. I'm not going to go into detail about it, because we're not here to talk about that, but yeah. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is, we don't need to add more poop to the pile, you know? More poop to the pile. You know, more squitchy in the britchy, if you will. Okay, so, we've healed the uh, dinosaur, the Styracosaurus. Let's go back to Pterodactyl Land, man. <laughs> Hello, my nasal talk started coming out. Let's go back to Pterodactyl Land, man. Seriously, jeez. Chugga chugga choo choo, and away we go. Man, has it already been about 14 minutes? Jeez, that's crazy. Like I said, I, I was... I don't think I said this already. I was planning on trying to get this, the rest of the stuff done in two videos, but I'm definitely seeing that's not going to happen. I'm probably going to go for shoot for three, because there's quite a bit left to do. If I can get it in two, cool beans. But if I can't, I'm not going to force it, you know. I'm not going to force my way into, like, a traffic pattern, you know, changing lanes. I'm going to shove myself in the left lane when I can wait. Roar! I feel healthy now, so I'm gonna run all the way home. Yeah, buddy. Ready, ready, ready. Ready to run. Oh, yeah. Yay! 
We did it! Woohoo! We helped all the dinosaurs. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Please accept this shiny thing I acquired when I trout on one of those ungapungas. <laughs> That's messed up. We worked really hard for you, you know. By any chance another gold nugget? No. Fair enough! I almost crossed voices there. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so, yay! Another good nugget for the collection, man. I think that's 43 if I counted correctly. One, two, carry the three. Yeah, 43. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of whim, urine, and excitement today. I really need to just lay off the soda because I actually had me a nice, delicious Big Mac earlier, even though that's not so good for you. Part of me is like, I just don't really give a flying fart, because I really, you know, Fridays are kind of the days I just kind of like, I just veg out and chill. I don't really like go crazy with being uber healthy, although I should probably do that. Anyway, uh, this cave we are entering, this is a cave we actually could not enter before because we had some kind of butt munch block in the entrance. But now that we can enter it, let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here. Hello. Uh, you okay there, buddy boy? Looking a little pale there. Remind me of that pale commercial that I keep seeing every so often. <laughs> Hello. You should see someone about to stammer. Stammer. Freezing cold. Cave. No central heating. No food either. Unga bunga. Try but guard outside cave. Please warm cave up and give food. You got a gold nugget? Maybe. Warmth and food f first. Aw, poor guy. Well, we can't do anything about the food, but we can do is we can help with the fire. The fire, man! Fire, fire! <laughs> oh, man, that looks so much better. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. You picky little pain in the backside. Not just food, he wants freaking junk food. He wants to go the whole nine yards the whole way, man. Jeez. Well, I don't know if you all know this, but uh, we happen to know where some junk food is. <coughs> Excuse me, but currently we can't actually transfer it. They're not, they're just all going to say the same thing, so I'm not going to bother reading in character, if you will. Or if you want to call what I did in character. I know I got a nasal talk still. With just about every freaking voice probably right currently because of my... Excuse me, my nose keeps chiming in. I'm definitely going to edit out some of these sniffles. Like, seriously, it's disgusting, man. Y'all don't want to hear what flies through my nose. Through my nostril hairs, man. Oh, man. Makes me think of that time I ended up having, like, an itch in my nose. It just wouldn't quit, and then I ended up, like, ripping out a freaking nostril hair, and I'm like, ah, Yeah, that felt good. Ooh, did sting like a mother's freaking backache. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> That's the first thing I do. Put my hands in my pockets and just start warming up, man. Alrighty, so we've helped these poor little Oogle Boogles out. There's, it's kind of a cute name, Oogle Boogle. You know, I don't know. I just, I, it just pains me to see them in so much suffering, but at the same time, you know, at the very least, you know, you, you, you kind of feel a little bit better now that you've added some fire to their life. You know, some fire, 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 <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Okay, calm down, dude. Seriously. So we've helped those guys out. We've uh, lit up the cave a little bit so it had some light, too. That's another issue they were they were having, was lack of lighting. And, oh my gosh, it is about 18 minutes, going on 19. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play banjo Tui. And in the next episode, we're going to clean up the rest of Pterodactyl Land. Probably going to do some more progress. We're going to learn, we're definitely going to learn the last move in this area. And then we're going to make our way to the mountaintop. So, uh, see you guys next time. Now let's challenge flap and peace out.